So I heard you're in need of some inspiration for your next film. Luckily, I can help with that. Just listen to this one piece of advice I have for you. Be a more interesting person! Wait, no, 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 don't click off. I actually have good advice. That was just unfiltered Abdiel speaking his thoughts out loud. However, there is some truth to what he said. Keep watching if you want to understand that better and if you want to understand the different places where you can find inspiration and what you can do to obtain it more consistently. If you want to improve your story ideas or are currently in need of inspiration for a new project, this video is for you. This is me trying to find inspiration. As you can see, I am struggling. And this might be you right now. The biggest piece of filmmaking advice that I would always hear was just make something, anything. Start practicing your filmmaking, which is great advice. But my question would always be, what short film should I make? Anything. But anything is so big and broad. What should I choose to make? And I would spend forever thinking of that. Here's some advice I'm gonna give you if you are in this stage. You don't need to make a short film or even a story to practice filmmaking and make something cool. Story is the most important thing? <laughs> Throw that out of the window, and I mean, for now. If you're just starting out or just feel like you need to make something right now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a short film the way you know it. For example, you might be inspired by the cinematography of a movie you recently watched, so try to make your own shots that imitate that cinematography style. Maybe try to recreate specific shots from that film. If you want, you can even try to recreate a specific scene from the film. Haven't been inspired by many movies lately? Try music. Take a song you like and try to make your own music video for that song. Maybe you're into poetry? Record yourself reading a poem you like and try to make a video accompanying that poem. Have a book or story you really like? Make a fake trailer for it. Want to get recognition? Make a weird, creepy series of YouTube videos that connect to each other and they get Matt Pat to make a theory about them. The point is, you don't have to write a traditional script or make a traditional short film in order to practice filmmaking. If you're looking for inspiration, you might just find it by trying something different. So, are you inspired now? No. <laughs> okay then, well, maybe now would be a good time to take a break. In a talk about creativity that I once assisted, the speaker said the creative block can come from overstimulation and burnout. She said that when this happens, what must be done is to rest. One must rest in order to regain their creative muscles and to come up with new ideas. And we have to remember that experiencing life is how we get our ideas in the first place. You can't come up with new ideas if you stay in a writing bubble for too long. You have to experience new things and learn more about the world in order to come up with fresh ideas. So take a break. You're already doing so by watching this video. Good for you. Maybe later you can go on a walk, go talk to someone, listen to a podcast, listen to music, watch a movie. In fact, watching films and shows can really help you find inspiration and ideas. Seeing what others have done, what other people have said, the stories that have been told, and the ways in which they've been told, this can all fuel your creativity. Great! You took a break! How are you feeling now? Uh... Still got no ideas? Alright, let's try this. So this is a bit more of a lifestyle tip, something that you incorporate into your everyday. Remember when at the beginning of the video I said BE A MORE INTERESTING PERSON! Yeah, well, let me elaborate on that. I honestly believe that there's no such thing as an uninteresting person. Like, we are all interesting and so different in our own ways. But let me ask you this one question. It's an important question, so hear me out. Do you have something to say? Do you have something to say to the world? 
If you want to be a filmmaker or an artist that stands out, you need to have something to say, something that you want to express to the world through your art. You might not have anything specific yet, or maybe you do. What I'm trying to say is that the more that you learn about the world and the more you learn about people, I think the more interesting you become. And the more interesting you become, the things that you want to say and express in your art will grow in amount as well. So essentially what I'm saying is that you should read books and listen to podcasts. No, but seriously, there is some serious value in expanding your knowledge and learning something new every day. Having hobbies and activities outside of filmmaking can actually be really helpful for creativity and inspiration. It can really help fuel your ideas. I have recently been getting into philosophy and have also been developing an interest in sociology. I also have great interest in religion, history, learning Japanese, and many other things. I've been listening to podcasts and YouTube videos about these topics in my free time, while I shower, while I make myself food, just whenever I can. Since I've started doing this, I've felt like I'm slowly becoming a more knowledgeable person and I've actually been getting more creative ideas for stories because of this. A while ago, I was listening to an episode of the Lex Fridman podcast where he talks with Yeon Mi Park about her experiences in North Korea. As I listened to her talk about the horrors of North Korea, I started to think to myself how fascinating it is that such a horrible totalitarian government exists today. We have films about Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, but how many narrative films are there about North Korea? We have people that have escaped and have told their stories about what North Korea is like. What if there was a film that told the story of someone growing up inside of North Korea and showed what their life was like? I was hit with inspiration. If I wanted to, I could have started writing a story or a script about that idea I just had. My point is that when you surround yourself with knowledge and when you become a more interesting person, your art and your work will also be more interesting. So it's good to get into the habit of making time for other hobbies and interests outside of filmmaking because they can end up really fueling some of your ideas. I have one more tip that I want to discuss, but before that, I just want to mention that I've been putting a lot of effort into this video, and if you've been liking it and if it's been helping you, then I would appreciate it a lot if you could hit the subscribe button because it does help my channel out, and I do plan on making more content like this. So if you're liking what you're seeing, then, well, don't miss the opportunity. And if you don't want to make that commitment yet, well, then at least the like would be nice. <laughs> Anyways, the last thing I want to talk about has to do with coming up with ideas for stories, and it has to do with this phrase. You've probably heard it before, write what you know. What the phrase means is that you should make something that is personal to you, and you should incorporate elements of your own life in your story, like situations you've seen or people you've met. You can still write sci-fi or fantasy while being personal and incorporating elements of your life into the story. You can find tons of inspiration from experiences you've lived, and I think there's something special about crafting a story that feels close to home. Try thinking about something memorable that has happened to you in your life at some point. It doesn't need to be big, just something that you think kind of makes a good story. Maybe it was recent, or maybe it was years ago. But think about it, and think about if you could take that story and add on to it. Or change a part of it, or have the same premise but applied to different characters, or applied to a different setting. You can end up having some really cool ideas through this exercise. Another exercise you could do is to think of a person you've met in your life and imagine them as the main character of a story. What would that story be? What would it look like? What situations would that person get into and how would they handle those situations? It can be a fun starting point for your story. Write what you know when applied correctly can be great, but to be honest, I discovered another phrase that is even better, and it goes like this. Write what you want to know. Our lives don't always contain the stories and characters we want to write. Sometimes in order to tell a story the right way, you need to learn new things in the process. Lessons from the Screenplay has an excellent video on this where he explores how the film Inside Out was written. I'll link it in the end of the video and in the description. Essentially, you don't have to limit yourself to just write what you know, but let yourself write about things you want to know better, things that interest you. Don't be afraid to dive into new territory with the stories you tell. 
Of course, this requires research and a lot of thinking, but you can end up with so many new ideas for your stories. Inspiration can come from so many different places and at the most random times, but implementing some of these tips that I mentioned can help you gain ideas more consistently and hopefully you've gained a hunger to just create. My name's Abdiel and thanks for watching. Yes! I finally have inspiration. I'm gonna make a story about how I can't write any stories. It's gonna be a masterpiece.